Hey, this is Bethany with Photographer Overnight, and today we're going to learn how to get that sun flare effect. Normally, harsh sunlight is not the most ideal lighting for pictures, so this is my favorite way to take advantage of that sun flare and turn it into a good thing. So as I said in the last tutorial, to create this look, your camera is going to have to be in manual mode. The tendency of your camera in automatic modes when you're pointing it directly at the bright sun is to dial your exposure down so low that your subject is really dark. And that's not the look we're going for, so we'll have more control over the picture if we switch it to manual mode. Now the rule of thumb when you're outside on a sunny day is to have your ISO at 100 because it's unnecessary to have it any higher when you have plenty of light so we keep it as low as possible to avoid the grain that comes with higher ISOs. But we also want to brighten up our picture a lot so I use the lowest f-stop my lens will allow to keep the focus on my subject with a nice blurred out background. Then you'll choose whatever shutter you need to get the lighting in your picture just how you want it. I'll note the settings I'm using on each of the following shots. For this look, we just place the sun behind our subject and get down lower than them so we can angle the camera upward toward the sky. You'll notice that depending on the angle, the sun flare will have different effects in your picture. You can hide the sun completely and give your subject a nice glow from behind, or you can have a sunburst creating the rainbow of light where it hits your lens. The different angles you use will also affect how bright or dark your subject is, so you'll need to keep adjusting your shutter speed accordingly. After you've taken the shots you want, you can always make them pop in your editing. I recommend shooting in RAW because it allows you to make more dramatic changes without having to do as much work. So I open up a program like Adobe Camera Raw or Lightroom, and I adjust my favorite sliders to taste. With sunflare shots, your picture tends to be a little washed out, so I like to bring up the blacks a little. Then you can increase the vibrance and the saturation to bring back a little more of the color. The amazing thing about RAW is that it keeps all the color and exposure information from the actual setting you were shooting in, so you can bring back parts of the picture you could never bring back with a JPEG. Then after the picture looks more or less how I want it, I just save it as a JPEG, and I'm done. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial by Photographer Overnight, and you should definitely subscribe to our channel for more tips and tutorials that will take your photography to the next level.